Hello and welcome to another Sesame video by DMVGL Software. In this video, I'll be showing you one of the unique features of using Genie, and that is the ability to convert from beam elements into shell elements. That is a very powerful tool because you can do things such as code checking your members and then creating a finite element mesh to do a finite element analysis on your structure. And to do that, you start with a member. In this case, we have tubes that are created as beam, uh, as beam elements. And the actual conversion will involve the use of JavaScript. Now, if you're not familiar with JavaScripting, there's no need to worry because we have already created a library of JavaScripts for you. And to find them, you simply have to go to Windows Explorer and in a search engine, typing in Genie Snack Pack, by picking the first link, you'll be taken to a page like this. And if you're prompted for a username and password, then please type in SESAM for the both of them. And here, as you can see, we have a library of JavaScripts. And the one we're interested in is down here at the bottom where it says beams to plates. You can also convert from L stiffeners to plates, T stiffeners to plates, beams to shells, but the one we're interested in is tubes to shells because our structure is primarily made up of tubes. So click, clicking that, you'll be taken to this page. And the JavaScript that we need is this one right here. So now all we have to do is copy everything that is in here and pasting it in the command line in the Genie window. And it's done. So now we convert it from beam elements into shell elements. What the JavaScript would do is it will look for sections, tubes that have sections that start with the letter P, so and convert those into shells. So what you can do if you want only parts of your members, parts parts of your structure to be converted into shells, all you have to do is rename those sections. So if we undo this real quick. And uh, let's let's rename this into this, so it doesn't start with the letter P, but the letter Z. And now, if we rerun the script, you can see here that it did not convert this beam element because it starts with the letter Z, but the other ones have been converted. So this is a way to control which parts of the structure you want to convert. Alternatively, you can go into your JavaScript and down at the very bottom where it says pipe beams, if you change this into a Z and change this into a Z and then copy everything here and let's undo what we just did here and then just rerunning your JavaScript. Now you can see that it converted this beam into shells because it starts with the letter Z. So that is the best way to control what the JavaScript converts into shells. And so in summary, this video was about converting beam elements into shells. Thank you for watching.